Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Raise Your Frequency. My name is Diamond Leone. This is our amazing tapping series that we do every Sunday on a topic that either you guys request or I feel like something that everybody struggles with uh, or at some point and could be really, really helpful. So today's topic, or shall I say this week's topic, is going to be releasing the sting of being judged and criticized. It could be, you know, someone in your family, it could be a coworker, it could be a, a friend, someone that you care about. Um, and so we're gonna tap on that. We're gonna release all of that and we're gonna call ourselves into our own power and learn like, and, and how to deal with that and how to process that in an empowering way. So if you're new to tapping, grab something to drink, preferably water. I don't have water, but I have some tea here. We're going to stay hydrated and all you do is just follow after me. So you're going to drink some water. <laughs> then you're going to take a deep breath and hold it at the top. <sighs> Let it out. Start tapping on your karate chop point with your dominant hand and just repeat after me. I hate being criticized or judged especially when it's coming from someone that I care about. I really do feel like I'm doing my best in most cases. So when I hear that it's just not enough, it makes me feel defeated. I know that it's not my job to please other people but I really do care what people think. And I wish I didn't care so much about the opinions of others. But when it comes from someone that I love or that I really respect, it makes me feel like a failure. I'm not even sure how to process how I feel sometimes about criticism. I don't have life all figured out, but I know that I'm trying. I know that I'm showing up sometimes in the best way that I know how. And it just feels so icky of a feeling that I might be letting other people down. I've got my own expectations for myself. And I know that I can be really hard on myself at times, but I really do wonder how much of that is coming from really my expectation of myself versus the expectations of those other people. I want to stop tormenting myself about what other people think of me. I've got to let these feelings go. I know that I'm a work in progress. I know there's areas of my life that need to be improved. I mean, come on, I know these things. But the last thing I need is for somebody else telling me that I'm not enough. Saying things to me that make me feel like I'm not worthy. Saying things that make me feel like I'm a failure. And maybe on some level, I do feel like I'm a failure. Maybe I've let these people's opinions seep into who I really am. Maybe those lines are blurred. I want to come out of this state of confusion. I'm tired of feeling lost. I'm tired of feeling like I'm walking on eggshells around the people I care about. I'm tired of hearing voices in my head that say I'm not good enough. I'm just ready to do something different because what I've been doing is not working. In fact, it's been robbing me of my happiness. 
So even though I know all of these things about myself, I still deeply love, honor, and accept myself. Okay, take a deep breath, hold it at the top. Let it out. Okay, now we're gonna get into our sequence, so just follow me. I know that I can't please everyone around me. On some level, I feel like some of these people don't even wanna be happy. I feel like I'm kind of like their punching bag. I'm realizing that I literally cannot please everyone at all times. Because when I try to do that, I'm the one that ends up suffering. I am now going to make the decision to allow other people to have their emotions. I'm going to allow people to just simply have their opinions. I don't need to be right. I don't need to convince anyone of my worth. I am at the stage in my life now where I realize this big important thing. Their perception of me is a reflection of them. My reaction is an awareness of me. I need to stay focused on who I am. I need to stay focused on keeping myself happy and let other people just be who they are. I'm tired of allowing people to make me feel small. I am in control of my own emotions. I am the only person that can make me happy. I know that I cannot make everyone else happy. I've accepted that sometimes people just want to control you. Sometimes people just want to make you feel small. They wanna make you feel small so that they can feel big. And honestly, that's a them problem. I am releasing all the attachment right now to trying to please everyone else. If someone that I love and care about has an opinion of me that's not favorable, I am going to just allow them to have that opinion. Why do I need to interfere with what they think of me? The next time someone says something that's insulting to me or that hurts my feelings, I'm gonna ask myself this simple question. Is it true? And probably in most cases, it's not gonna be true. There's a huge difference between criticism and feedback. I am now understanding that criticism makes me feel small. Criticism is a reflection of somebody else's pain that they might be going through. Whereas feedback is meant to help me to grow. And one important distinction that I must always remember moving forward is that when someone says something that is not very nice to me, I need to take a moment and consider the source. Maybe take a moment and look at what's going on in their backyard. Perhaps they're just not happy with where they are in their own life. Maybe they are feeling deeply insecure about things. Maybe they just want to control me out of fear of losing me. Because some people need to control you 
because they feel that if you grow too big, if you get too much self-esteem, if you start thinking too much highly of yourself, that they are going to lose you. They feel like that they are so insecure that if you rise above the level that they have set for you, they feel like the relationship is just not gonna be the same. Maybe they feel like they're not gonna need you or you're not gonna need them anymore. And you know what? Again, that's a them problem. I am making the decision right now to acknowledge myself, remember who I am, remember that I cannot control other people's opinions of me, that I'm going to just have to allow them to have their perception that I must learn to trust myself. I have to remember that analogy of a bird landing on a branch. And the bird's faith is not in how strong that branch is and whether or not it will break. But the bird's strength lies in it knowing how strong its own wings are. That should that branch break, that bird knows that it can fly away. I am that bird. When someone starts talking trash about me or making comments to make me feel small or criticizing me or just saying things that are ugly, I'm gonna picture myself being that little bird and I'm gonna picture myself just flying away. I'm gonna remember that it's not my responsibility to change their mind. It's not my responsibility to change how they think of me. That when someone says something mean about me, that it's really just a reflection of whatever pain is going on in their life. Because happy people don't go around saying hurtful things to other people. They're just simply too busy being happy and enjoying life. So I'm going to remember right now in this moment that the next time I read or hear somebody saying something negative and nasty towards me, that I really just need to show compassion and feel sorry for them that it's not my job to try to change their opinion of me. That it's absolutely okay to just let it float like water right off of a duck's back. It's not my job to intercept their opinion of me. In fact, that's probably what they want me to do. They want me to get upset. They want to know that they still have that power or that control over someone else. I am deciding today that it is absolutely okay for certain people not to like me. I've accepted that not everybody is supposed to like me. If everybody liked me, I'd probably be doing something wrong. And the thing that I'd be doing wrong the most is betraying who I am authentically. I'm realizing right now in this moment that I was not born to fit in. I was created to stand out. I was created to be something amazing in life. And guess what? In order to be amazing, I have to take risks. I have to do things that other people are not going to understand right away. I have to make decisions that Maybe they don't agree with, and maybe they don't like, and maybe they don't understand it, but that's okay. It's not my job to change their mind. I am stepping into my own personal power, and I realize that that's going to run some people the wrong way. 
So from this day forward, I've decided that when someone doesn't like me, and if someone is saying things about me that are not very kind, if that person doesn't really know me or know what's going on in my life, and that person doesn't really have my best interest at heart, and what they're saying is not even true, then I need to just let it flow. Laugh about it. Say to myself that, hey, it's okay. They are just expressing a part of their pain that they're going through. And maybe I can just say a little prayer for them in that moment. Maybe I can ask the universe to just shed some love on them. I am so lovable. I am so worthy of feeling amazing. It's okay to let go of the idea that I need to please everyone. It's okay to just love myself right as I am right now today. And even if everyone else doesn't understand that, it's simply okay to let them have their opinions. I am so happy in this moment that I'm taking this time for myself today to acknowledge my feelings on this touchy subject and realize that I am the one that loves me the most and that I need to be protective of my energy and my happy state. So as of this moment, I am releasing all of the anxiety that I feel around other people's opinions of me. Even if it's someone that I love and care about. It's simply okay for everyone not to like me. Because I like me and I am more than enough. And so it is. Take a deep breath, hold it at the top. Let it out. Okay guys, so what did you think of today's tapping session, right? Pretty powerful stuff. Everybody on some level goes through the sting of judgment or criticism, right? And we don't always know how to handle it in that moment. So it's important when these types of things happen in our life, that we come back to this tapping, that we remind ourselves that it's okay to let people have their opinion. It's not your job to jump in front of every ball of opinion that comes your way on the court of life, right? What if you just went to the side like that and you let that ball go right past you, right? Let the people around you have their opinions. If you are someone that is constantly knocked off your horse of life, right? Because of what somebody else is saying to you, then you need to come back to this video and you need to do another round of this tapping and just remind yourself that, you know, if you're caring so much about what somebody else is thinking, then there's something going on in here inside of you that you need to address. It's, it's that, it's that part of you that's saying, Hey, Hey, I need you to love me. I need you to pour into me and tell me how much you love me so that when these other external people in the world come along and say things that make me feel that I'm not good enough, that I can draw on that own internal strength that I've created within myself that reminds me that, wait a second, no, 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 you are awesome. You are lovable. You are worthy. And what they're saying over there is just not true. And it's not your responsibility to care. It's not your responsibility to change it. It's not your responsibility to, uh, to believe it, right? Or let it affect your day. You have the power. You absolutely have the power to uh, control what what story you give to things, right? So we give a meaning to everything that happens to us in our life and we tell ourselves a story. So when someone is criticizing you, especially if it's someone in your family, then 
If you're really allowing it to get to you and just really gnaw at you, then you're telling yourself a story that it's true. You're telling yourself that a story that you're not good enough. You're telling yourself that, you know, maybe this person has a point to what they're saying. Well, what I want you to do is change that story. What if you told yourself the story that, hey, this person doesn't understand me. They don't know what I'm going through. They are... Uh, they are probably projecting their insecurities or pain that's going on into their life. They're projecting that onto me. And I am enough. I am lovable right now where I am in my life. I am worthy of just being me. I don't need to be some dog and trick pony show to prove that I'm lovable to someone else, even if it is a parent, even if it is your children, even if it is a sibling, somebody that you deeply love. You have to create your own sense of value and self-worth within you and not allow the external things and people of this world permeate that to the point where it makes you question your own self-worth. So anyway, I've, I've rambled on enough. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and share. We'd like to grow this little community. And remember, come back to this tapping video as many times as you need to because it definitely reprograms your brain over time and it gets rid of all of those negative limiting stories that you've told yourself that are just simply not true. Remember, it's not your job to please everyone and someone else's reaction is not your responsibility. Have a great day.